Welcome to our I Am Not a Robot t-shirt painting party. Yeah. Uh, if you've placed an order with Jerry's Autorama uh, or been to one of our stores um, and you've received one of these little beauties, you might be confused, you might be intrigued, uh, and I don't know, you might Good be work. hungry. We don't know. So what is this shirt all about? I mean, I think that's the question we're trying to answer is what is I Am Not a Robot? And the answer is we're trying to start a conversation. It, if you look at this country, the arts are slowly, 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 actually not even that slowly, say, being faster than sucked that. away. And what makes us inherently human is the ability to create and think imaginatively. Um, you know, we're not just copying what we see, we're creating something new. And I think that the whole idea behind the I Am Not a Robot, I Create t-shirt is to get the message across in a very public way. That's why we're sending them out I think with any $50 order mm -hmm. or they're like 10 bucks. Um, and, and giving you an opportunity to express yourself on the shirt and, uh, and wear it around town. You know, um, I, I don't know, I'm looking forward to creating mine. We have some ideas, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so what are we gonna do first? Um, we're gonna do something just very basic, very fun that anybody could do that you could even get you know, kids in your household to do. We're going to just do a basic resist um, with some of the Jacquard uh, removable water-based resist. We're gonna paint out a design or you were talking about potentially um, a saying or mm -hmm. something like that. You're going to be able to see it on this because it's gonna look a little bit more kind of a cream color as it dries. But what that's gonna do is block out the shirt from wherever you've put that right. to resist, uh, we're gonna use Jacquard's Dynaflow inks that are very bright, very vibrant, that are gonna show up really well on this gray. This is just this one is that I played with. Oh, very nice. So you can see wherever that resist was, this was just to make sure that this would work with cotton because I know it works great with silk. Right. Works Does, fantastic with this So this too. is essentially frisket for t-shirt It is, frisket for fabric, fabric. fabric, yeah. Okay. So it's just, it's, it, this is something that doesn't require any art skills. It's just something that's fun and relaxed. Um, they should get to play with bright, pretty colors, but then you come up with kind of a cool design to make this shirt a little bit more artistic, a little bit more kind of enforce the meaning of, of what it's all about. Right, right, right. Okay, well, let's get started. What, what, what should I just? Um, just kind of pick a brush. You're gonna wanna keep your water down there because you're gonna kinda need to thin it a little bit. It's, it's thick. Um, and you're going to just work on kind of painting whatever you want to do there. All right, block will. Okay, so <clears throat> before we started filming, I wanted a good quote, something that expressed the message. And Ming had the perfect one, so I'm gonna be doing Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto, for our I Am Not a Robot shirt. Or, or, have they written it down so that you can? No, I'm gonna just uh, have the- Good idea. Yeah, D-O-M-O <laughs> is the start, right? Now, how thick should I be applying this? Um, you wanna apply it fairly thick uh, and really try to kind of work it into the fabric just to make sure that it's in there. When I did mine, I, I, because I wasn't sure with kind of the test shirt how much this was gonna soak in, I really kind of put one coat on and then went back and kind of brushed an additional coat into it. I'm just gonna do a design. Well, look at you, you rebel. That's what the shirt's all about. Mm hmm Well, am I blocking you with my hand? Uh, this is D. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my D out of the way. <laughs> blocking my D with my H. You can kind of see it soaking down into the fabric mm -hmm. where it looks like it's blocking it completely. It should be fine. Get my sleeve away from there. And this stuff washes out so easily in the sink. Um, just with a little bit of warm water and a couple places that were, seemed like a little bit, where I'd put it really thick, I just kind of rubbed it with my hand after letting the water set for just a little while. Mm -hmm. 
um, and it came out. But you will need to allow the Dynaflow to sit for 24 hours. Okay. And um, then you need to heat set it for three to five minutes with an iron set for, this would be cotton. So high heat. Um, I, sure, I don't iron, so. <laughs> Thankfully the iron we have here, just you can set it. Oh, cotton, whatever that is, so yeah. All right, so the domo's done. That's the easy part. Now the arigato. So <coughs> I want you to do it one letter at a time for me, okay? It starts with the B? A. a. I don't know if I'm going to have enough space. Just give me domo arigato. <laughs> <laughs> it's creative. You don't have to don't sweat the... I'm not trying to keep this from being, this is, you may have to kind of hold the shirt. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. All right, we've got an A. R. R. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. It's the next day. <laughs> We've just finished drying resist for literally 17 hours. All right, our resist is dry. I am gloved up. Are you ready to have some fun? Yeah, bring it on. All right, we're gonna put this over here. Can you do this without getting it everywhere? <laughs> Life skills, zero. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot who I was talking to. All this, right. This past weekend, my we, we had this growth chart made for my daughter, or it was a gift, mm -hmm. but it wasn't, it, you have to hang it like 10 inches off the ground to get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. There were 18,000 holes in my wall because I suck. <laughs> I had to go to Ace Harbor and get spackle and paint it. Holy wall. That's a little insight into my weekend. Mm. Okay, when you use these, shake them really well, real quick, just so that it's not, it settles a little. Mm -hmm. um, you can either just open the cap. Let me see what you do first. And apply them with the little dropper, mm -hmm. or you can put them in here and use a paintbrush with them. I like what you, you do with the peace signs. Yeah, with uh, that, just, um, all right. Hi. So with, with that, I just put it in here and then brushed it, and then afterwards kind of went and just used it right out of the bottle and to make little swirls yeah just make some interesting things the only thing is that with the, i mean the swirls are good that's fine but to make this show up you're gonna have to have that covered at least completely with the ink right yeah yeah, yeah.
Now it just has to dry. Mm -hmm. um, it has to dry. It needs to. It needs to dry for twenty four hours. Heat set three to five minutes is what the directions say on the Dynaflow. Then you can go immediately thereafter and wash the um, the resist out. Don't worry, it will crack with the heat of the iron, but it's already blocked out what it needs to block out. It's not going to make it run. Well, after I'll tell that. you what. I'll tell you what. Since we have the magic of video editing yes we will come back uh when these are done mm -hmm. and ready to be worn and we'll wear them for you do a little fashion yes. show a little modeling a little runway stuff you like yeah. that well yeah calm down uh so uh we'll be back um it'll be seconds for you but days for us it's like something out of interstellar <laughs> well we've been here for the past two days getting these t-shirts ready and as you can see my facial hair has filled in a little bit since then <laughs> to uh to prove it yeah but um amy why don't you go ahead and explain to everybody what we did to kind of get these sh and by we i mean you <laughs> um what we did to get the shirts ready to wear all right so we used that jacquard resist mm -hmm. right um then we did the uh the dynaflow over it the resist obviously resisted right. and the dynaflow did not soak into those parts of the shirt let it set for 24 full hours then you need to iron it on a cotton setting for three to five minutes. Just like anything, I always err on the side of five minutes. Just caution. I mean, I, I think it would probably be fine, and I think that's part of the reason why they want you to set it for those 24 hours. But I just am um, always, you know, you might as well, it's your artwork, protect it, go with the full mile. And after you've done that, you can throw this mm -hmm. straight in the washer if you wanted to. Um, I What I did was, I, I because the resist is like a little gummy mm -hmm. um i mean it's not sticky but it's just because it's kind of almost like a the consistency of when you get elmer's on your hands and then go to wash it off after it's dry it gets kind of gooey yeah. um went ahead and put it under the sink just used um a fingernail brush gently rubbed it out came out very quickly um and then we let this air dry we haven't put it in the the wash yet okay so that's fine mm -hmm. uh that makes sense uh but now these are ready to go in the wash. they're ready to go if we ready to okay. go so we were gonna wear the shirts, but uh, because mine's on the back and Amy's dressed so nicely, um, we decided we just kind of hold these up and show you guys the finished product. I don't know if that's gonna, we might be better off just leaving me on the table. Um, no, I think they can see it. That yeah. turned out really well. Yeah. I wasn't sure with the writing being so small, but that's actually great. You can see it from pretty far it's away too. It's not the size of the writing, Amy. Mm. It's the book. Uh-huh, <laughs> the book. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so this is our I Am Not a Robot t-shirt yes. demonstration, yeah. explanation. Um, well, it's oh. something that anybody can do. You don't, again, that's why we picked this, you know, these products specifically. You don't have to have artistic skills. You just need to be able to paint resist on and play with color over it. The one thing that, you know, you, that you do want to see, which I'm sure they can see with the, with the overhead shot, brighter the brighter the colors against that resist the easier it is for it to stand out with some of them it gets a little lost with some of the where, where it was thinned I put really bright color right against it so that's just something to consider if you're gonna go this route with something like the Dynaflow that's not a regular you know opaque actual paint this mm -hmm. is more like a dye um, but anybody can do this that's the beauty of it so when you get your shirt in the mail uh, which, uh, again, just to reiterate, any $50 mm -hmm. order or more, uh, or $10 a piece yeah. if you want. And it's also $50 in-store if you live by one oh, of awesome. our local Jerry's and Aramas. Um, make sure that you hashtag I am not a robot. Tag us at Jerry's Autorama and uh, tag Amy and I if yeah, you'd like. Uh, I'm awesome. at Mike Not Jerry. At Amy Gardner Dean. And uh, we'd love to take a look and see what kind of shirts you've made and wearing them around town because that's how the message is spread. That's right. Spread the word. It's the revolution. That's right. Oh, the revolution. <laughs> I'm not a robot. I create revolution. Uh, and if you do tag us and you uh, use the hashtag I am not a robot, uh, once a week, Jerry's is going to pick a random participant to receive a $100 gift card. Um, how long are we doing that for? We have no idea. Um, just keep going. Um, well, and considering it's at random, that means skills don't apply. Oh, it doesn't yeah. have to be the prettiest shirt in the thing. Random yeah. means random. You just have to participate. It, there just has to be some kind of color added to it. But hopefully you will have some fun with it. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, so for your chance to win, make sure you post your photos. And uh, we can't wait to see them. I know. It's going to be fun. All right. This is a fun little video, a little different. 
A little, a little different. Yeah, well, it's us. It's always it's a little us. different. That's right. <laughs> that's absolutely right. Okay. That's, that's it. Ms. Hagen. Bye. Bye.